share ko lang tong screen. Okay. So, anyone who wants to answer number three? Anyone? Do we have a volunteers? Wala. Dali-dali lang na ito, eh. Alright, sige. Sagutan na lang natin. So, 0 plus 1 plus 0. Sabi ko bang i-zoom? Ayan, para mas kita. Alright. So, 0 plus 1 plus 0 is still 1. So, uh, shadow mahaba pag puro plus. Sabi mo na lang kung ilang 1. Okay? So, we have 3, 1. So, that's 11. Carry 1. Bring down 1. And then we have trick one, still 11. Bring down one. How about this one? We have four one. So we have an answer of 100, right? Yes, sir. So meron ng zero dito. How about the 10? How do we put Sa the 10? Po ng one. Okay. Carry dito. one. Carry 10. Carry 10. Carrot. Hindi pwede yan. Okay. Hindi pwede yan. Hindi pwede. So, kapag 100, so yung 1 dito, and then yung 0 dito. And then yung 0 dito. Okay? Okay. Magja-jump siya sa another number. Okay. So, 1 uh, carry lang per bit. Okay. So, 2, 1. Okay, sir. Then, carry 1, bring down 0. <laughs> 3, 1 is 11. 11. Carry 1, okay. bring down 1. 4, 1. Mm -hmm. So, 0 na ulit dito. So, we have to carry here the 1 and then 0. So, 2, 1 is 10. Carry 1, ten. bring down 0. 3, 1 is 11. Carry ten. 1, ten. bring down 1. 4, 1 is 100. So, bring down the 0. Carry 1, carry 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. one, and then one is 10. ten. 1, bring down 0. Then, bring down the remainder. Oh. So here we have an answer of 10101 one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, one. Okay. Okay. Lang naman kasi. Sir, question po. Yes. May decimal point po yung ano, sinolve natin. Meron eh. Ganun din po dun sa ano, number 2. Ah, oh, dun din. Sorry, na-miss ko. Ayan. Okay. Okay, sir. Alright, so dito, yung decimal is nandito din. Okay, so hindi ko nasasagutan to since I think alam na alam nyo na yan. So iwanan ko rin to as part of your practice assignment. Alright, so next one. So if we have an addition, we also have a subtraction. Okay, so wait lang. Close ko lang to. Okay, so dito muna tayo, uh, tayo sa table. So 0 minus 0 is still 0. zero uh, 1 minus 0 is still 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Tama? Pero dito, 0 minus 1 is cannot be. And then you will get a result of 11. So paano nangyari yun? So, uh, explain ko na lang dito sa actual na Example. Okay, so dito muna tayo. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 1 is cannot be. Okay, so since cannot be, so we have to borrow. So, this 1 will become 0. And then this 0 will become 2. Okay? So, yun lang yung tricky part dito. So, pag heram kayo, ang may heram nyo is 2. Yung heheraman nyo is 1 lang yung mababawas. Okay? So, 2 minus 1 is 1. 0 minus 1 is cannot be, so we have to borrow again. So, this 1 will become 0. This 0 will become 2. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. And then, 1 minus 0 is 1. Okay? 
So, bigyan mo muna kayo ng 10 seconds para isink in sa utak nyo. So, ang tricky part lang dito, pag nag-borrow kayo, yung 0 nyo magiging 2. Yung pinaghiraman nyo, yung 1 nya is magiging 0. So, basically, isa lang yung mababawas. Sir, bakit? Kasi, di ba, yung 2 natin is 10. Yung 1 naman natin is 0, 1. So, pag, if you do the math, so yung 0 is magiging, uh, pag kumeram ka dito, mm -hmm. ito na yung normal uh, way of pag doing. Pag 1, 0, 2. Ito okay is, na siya. Okay na. Okay na siya. Yeah. So, ito magiging 10, ito magiging 0. Ah, mali pala. Magiging 2 pala to. <laughs> So, 0, 1. Okay. So, next one. So, another example. So, 0 minus 1 is cannot be. So, we have to borrow. So, this 0 will become 2. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, 0 minus 1 cannot be. So, we have to borrow again. So, this 1 will become 0. So, this 0 will become 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus 1 cannot be, so we have to borrow again. So 1 will become 0. 0 will become 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. And then 0 minus 1 cannot be. So we have to borrow again. So 1 will become 0. 0 will become 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1. And then 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. And then 1 minus 0 is 1. Okay. So, who wants to answer number two? Alright, so Miss Rizalina Dao. Okay. Okay, so, uh, pwede ka ba mag-draw sa number two? And then, if possible, sino yun? Mr. Rizalino, tama ba? Ang hirap, sir. Ano bang gamit mo? <laughs> phone lang, sir. Smartphone. Lang. Okay. So, ikaw na lang sumagot. Okay. So, 1 minus 1, ilan? Ako na lang magsusulat. 0, sir. 1 minus 0? 1. 1 minus 1? 0. Ay, madaya to ah. Sobrang dali na ito. Ako one. nasasagot. 1, 1, 1, 1. 0. <laughs> Number three. Number three na lang. Okay. Okay. So, zero minus one. Mr. Rizali. Ako pa rin, sir? Okay, ko pa rin. Bonus to eh. Cannot be, sir. Cannot be. So, we have um, to borrow. So, one will become zero. Zero. Zero will become two. Two minus one? One. Okay. So, zero minus one. Cannot be. Cannot be ulit, sir. We have to borrow. Pero bago tayo makahiram, dapat tong zero na to is makahiram mo na dito. Okay? Yes, sir. So, one will become zero. Zero will become two. Okay. So, balikan natin to. So, zero minus one cannot be. So, we have to borrow to this one. So, this two will become one. Zero will become two. So, two minus one is one. One minus one, ilan na? Zero. Zero. Okay. So, dito na tayo. So, 1 minus 1. Zero. Okay. So, tanggalin na natin to para hindi magulo. So, zero na to. Yes, sir. Zero minus zero. 1. Cannot be, sir. So, magbabaro. Baro ulit. So, 1 will become zero. Zero will become 2. So, pwede na tayong humiram. So, 2 will become 1. Zero will become 2. Yes. 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1, sir. Yeah. 1 minus 1. 0. 0. So, tanggalin ko na to para hindi na magulo. So, 0 na to. So, 0 minus 1. Barrow ulit, sir. Barrow ulit. Okay. So, itong 1 magiging 0. 0 magiging 2. So, this 2 will become 1 since I na tayo dito. And then this 0 will become 2. 
So, 2 minus 1. 1. 1. 1 minus 1. 0, sir. 0. Okay, that's good. So, 0. So, what about 0 minus 0 minus 0? So, 0 na rin to. 0. 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1. 0. 0. So, tanggalin ko Baro na. Baro ulit. So, baro ulit. Yung 1 magiging 0. Yung 0 magiging 2. 2 minus 1. Two. Um, 1. Okay, so 0 minus 0 is 0. And then 0 minus 1 is cannot be. So we have to borrow. So 0, dito muna tayo. So 1 will become 0. 0 will become 2. Of course, heram na tayo dito. So 2 will become 1. 0 now will become 2. So 2 minus 1, ilan? 1 ulit. 1 minus 1, 0. 0 na po. 0 minus 1? Ah, oh, cannot be so. So, baro ulit. So, 1 will become ulit. 0 will become 2. 2 will become 1. 0 will become 2. 2 minus 1? 2 minus 1? One. 1. Minus 1? Zero. 0, sir. Okay. Oops, eto meron natira dito. 1, sir. Isa, so, one. One, sir. And then, 0 na to. So, the answer number 3 is 0, 1, 0, 0. Dot. May dot din dito. Limutan natin. 1, 1, 0, 0. 1, 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1. Okay. So, ganun lang naman. Ang nakakagulo lang dito is kapag uh, sobrang dami yung, yan, lahat yan, nagbaro-baro tayo. So, medyo magulo na to. So, mas maganda to kapag paper. Okay. So, number 4, iwan ako na to as your part of practice assignment. Okay? Alright, so next one. Oops, tama ba? Yan, tama. So, octal addition. Okay. So, sa octal, same naman yung process sa mathematics. Pero wala nga lang tayong 8 at 9. Okay, so malalaman nyo kung pari mamaya. So, 3 plus 2 is 5. So, put 5. And then, 5 plus 1 is 6. So, as it is. And then, put the base. So, 65 base 8. But how about letter P? So, 1 plus 7. So, octal to. So, wala tayong 8. So, 1 to 7. And then, 1 to 7. So, decimal. And then, octal. Same lang sila. Pero, nagyan ko lang D dito para decimal and then octal. Pero, pag sa decimal, meron na tayong 8. Where in this 1, 1 plus 7 in decimal is 8. Sa octal representation, uh, ito is 10 na. Okay? So, 1 is actually 8 to 15. And then, in octal, this one is 10 to 17. So, laging ganun. Uh, 1 to 7, 10 to 17, 20 to se uh, 27, 30 to 27, 40 to 27, and so on and so forth. And then, sundan nyo lang to. Uh, diretso pa rin sa decimal. 1 to 7, 8 to 15, 16 to 23, 23 to 30, 30 to 37, and so on and so forth. So, add, add lang kayo ng 7, 7, 7. So, in here, 7 plus 1 is 10. So, carry 1, bring down 0. And then, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. Okay. So, yun lang yung medyo tricky na part. Alright. So, ang alalahanin nyo lang kapag sumobra na sa 8 or 9. Meron na siyang another equivalent na result dito sa decimal line or sa octal. Okay? So, if we have octal, we also have hexadecimal. Okay, so hexadecimal, so 4 plus 6 is 10. And in hexadecimal, 10 is letter A, which is this one. 7 plus 2 is 9. Base, 16. Okay? But how about letter B? 9 plus 7 is 16. So again, so decimal, and then ito yung hexadecimal. Okay, so sa decimal, same pa rin yan. So 1 to 15 is the same with this one. So actually, mali ito. 1 to 9 muna. So sa hexadecimal, 1 to 9, same pa rin yan. Pero yung uh, 10 to 15 natin ng decimal is now letter A, to letter F. Okay? And then, pagpatak na ng decimal 
uh, uh, 16, dito is 10 na. Okay? So, yun yung medyo uh, may iba dito. So, ganun din. Wala rin siyang 16, 17, 18, 19. Pero ang susunod na doon, kapag meron ka 16, 10 na siya. Okay? So, that is why in here, 7 plus 9, 16, where in, in hexadecimal, it's 10. So, carry 1, bring down 0. And then F. So, in hexadecimal, F is 15. Okay? Plus 1 is 16. So, dito pa lang, pwede nyo nang i-separate yun. So, uh, 16 in hexadecimal is 10. So, carry 1, bring down 0 here. And then 0 plus E is still E. And then bring down the 1 here. So, that's how we've got 1 E. That 0. Okay? So, I'll give you guys one minute to analyze or you know, to think into your mind. Kapag 16 na sex less, mal 10 na yun. Ganon din sa octal. Kapag 8 na, 10 na rin yun. Is there anyone who has a question or a clarification? Or meron ng uh, gets na or okay na? Uh, we've missed the base. So, dapat merong base 16 dito. Okay. So, gets na? Or hindi pa? <coughs> mm -hmm. Or medyo hindi pa? Gets her. So gets not only Smika. Okay, that's good. Akalito yung mga letters. So basta sa hexadecimal, pag 10, A na yun. Hanggang 15, which is letter F. Pag nag-exit yes, ka 16, so 10 na yun. So 10 to 19, and then after that is 1A. So, hindi naman siguro kayo aabot dun. Okay, sir. Alright, so next one. Oops. <coughs> so, activity ulit sana to, pero hindi ko na tibibigay. So, this will be part of your practice assignment. Practice assignment. Okay? So, next one is multiple yes, binary numbers. Okay, so ito siguro yung pinakamadali. Since, same lang din. Okay? So, 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 0 is 0. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. So, same lang to sa normal uh, way of doing the math. Okay. So, 0 times 1. So, any number that is multiplied to 0 is of course 0. 1 times, kapag 1 na to actually, parang kokopay nyo lang ito. Okay? And then, you urog nyo lang ng konti. So, kagaya ng sabi ko, parang ito yung normal na math natin. So, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Then another zero, so any number that is multiplied to zero will be zero. Okay, and then another one, so just simply copy it. And then, add nyo lang lahat. Okay, so zero, one, one, and then this one, two, one is ten. So carry one, bring down zero. And then two, one again, carry one, bring down zero. Three, one. So, carry 1, bring down 1. And then 1, and then 1. Okay? So, walang problema dito sa multiplication of binary numbers. 
So it's just a combination of multiplication and then addition of binary numbers. Okay. So let's have more example. So this one, it's masyado mahaba. Bale, sobrang dali lang na ito. Hindi na ako si Kakashi yung sagot dito. Iwanan ko na rin ito as part of your uh, practice assignment. Same with this one. Practice assignment. So, okay. So, next one is sign binary numbers. So, pag sinabi natin sign, it is now composed of signs. Like positive and then negative. But in binary, syempre, wala tayong, or hindi natin pwedeng ilagyan ng symbol yan. Like positive and negative. So, in binary, para ma-represent natin yung number as negative or positive, so, gumamit sila ng two numbers pare, which is 0 and 1. So, kapag uh, positive, so 0. Kapag negative, gamit ka lang ng 1. Okay? In the uh, MSB. So, MSB stands for most significant bit. So, at yung pinaka-right natin, yung pinaka-right na bit is least significant bit. Yung pinaka-right, ah, pinaka-left pala, this one is your most significant bit or MSP. Okay? So, maglagay ka lang ng 1 sa pinaka-dulo kapag gusto mong i-represent yung value into negative. Or positive naman, uh, or 0 naman kapag positive. So, 9 is 8 plus 1, 8 plus 1. Pero, meron pa tayong ibang way wherein you have to apply two's complement. Okay? So, actually, ito yung ginagamit ng computer natin kung paano niya uh, i-convert yung uh, positive from positive to negative. Okay? So, if you're going to take a look on this one, by applying two's complement, so this is now the representation of negative 9. So, negative 9 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So, malayo na siya dito sa negative 9 natin. Okay. Ito na way of computer. And then, negative 13 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Negative 6 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay? So, later on, malalaman nyo kung bakit ganyan yung mga representation ng mga negative numbers natin or negative sign numbers natin. Alright. So, first, we have to derive two's complement. Okay? So, ano bang first step? So, meron lang tayong three steps sa pag-apply ng uh, or paano natin gawing uh, negative sign binary number yung isang positive. Okay, let's say we have, or we need to represent this one, negative 9 into uh, binary numbers. So, first, kunin muna natin is yung uh, positive representation niya. Okay? By 8 bits. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, of course, 0 na to, 4 na to. Ang kailangan lang natin is ito. So, 8 and then 1 having a result of positive 9. And then, complement each bit. So, pag sinabi natin complement, uh, the 0 will become 1, and then 1 will become 0. Okay, so basically, pagpapalitin lang natin. So, 1 will become 0, 0 will become 1, 0 became 1, 1 will become 0, and so on and so forth. So, lahat ng 0 naging 1. Okay, and then, plus 1. So, kasama to sa step nyo. Ito yung pinaka-third step na gagawin nyo. So, plus 1 lang kayo sa least significant bit natin. So, 0 plus 1 is 1. And then, bring down everything. So, you'll get 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay? So, ito na yun. Yung negative 9 natin. Okay? So, nagets naman so far kung paano natin i-represent yung negative gamit ang binary. So, we only have three steps. So, lagay niyo muna yung uh, positive representation. And then, two's complement. So, I'm missing two's complement. Zero will become one. One will become zero. And then, third step is add one to the least significant bit. Okay, and then, you will get this one as a result. Alright? So, sino na nakagets?
sir? May nakagets na? Or medyo naguguluhan pa rin kayo kung paano mag-represent ng negative number in binary? Sir, ano ba yung pagkakaiba nung sa MSB kanina? Kasi dito yung LSB, di ba? Ito yung LSB. Ito, yung pinaka- okay, sir, nag- Nag-add one po siya doon sa LSB, di ba? Doon sa sinagutan po natin. Oh, ito. So, doon sa sinabi niyo po kanina is yung MSB naman po yung isa, sir. Oh, actually, ito yung one. Kung kumbaga sa... Uh, ano ba? Kumbaga sa tao, ito yung gagawin ng tao. Kasi ito yung positive representation, which is the same, di ba? Pero pag negative, ito lang yung gagawin niya. Gagawin niya lang 1 to. Pero ang representation na ito is 9 lang. Okay? Pero sa computer, okay, ito yung ginagamit ng formula ng computer wherein gagamit sila ng two's complement. So, uh, parang example lang to wherein kapag tao, of course, hindi ka nagagamit ng two's complement kasi understandable na kapag uh, gusto mong i-represent yung 9 into negative, so gawin mo lang 1 to. Okay, wag lang aabot, wag ka lang umabot ng 100 plus kasi uh, magiging complicated na. So, pwedeng ang uh, uh, applicable to kapag hanggang dito lang sa part na to. And then dapat 0 tong tatlong to and then it's either 1 or 0 to. So, pag 0 positive. Kapag 1 means negative. Pero kapag uh, sa computer, oh, ito yung gagamitin natin. Okay? So, basically, na example lang to in human way. So, in example lang na kapag sa tao, of course, magamit tayo ng 1 para sa negative and then 0 naman sa positive. Since in binary, we cannot put negative or positive sign. Pero sa uh, in actual world, ito yung ginagawa ng computer natin. So, nag-apply siya ng 2's complement. Okay, wherein we have 3 steps. Sir, paano kung ano, lalagpas siya na 4 bits? Lalagpas ng 4 bit Yung, Opa. let's say, 64. Yung... Ah, kahit 32 lang. 1, 2, 4, 32, 8. yes sir. Or 16, or kahit 16 lang. 16. 16, 16 pa rin. So, dito na lang. So, kapag 16, so, kailangan natin ng 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So actually dito sa uh, way of, sa computer natin, kahit ilan na yan, okay, so same process pa rin. So second step, apply natin ang 2's complement. So 0 will become 1. 1 will become 0. So 1, 1, 1, 1. And then, plus 1. Okay. So 1 plus 1 will become 10. So 1, bring down 0. Bring down 0 ulit. 10 ulit to. Bring down 0. Carry 1. Bring down 0. So, 10 ulit to. Oops, ito na pala yung carry natin. So, dito na mag-stop. So, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so, 1 plus 0 is 1. And then, yun na yun. Ito na yung negative representation of 16. 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Pag sa tao, sir? Pag sa tao, uh, magkakagulo na, actually. Kasi okay. pwedeng basahin ito ng, let's say, ng tao ng, let's say, 1, 0, 0, 1, and then 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Kasi baka yung value na neto, so ay matanggal. Ayan. Yung value na neto is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8. So, kung sa positive representation to, yung positive, oops, nawala yung akin. So, kung positive to, ang result na ito is 128 plus 16, which is 100, ilan yun? 54? 154 in decimal. Pero kapag negative, so kapag sinabi, kapag understandable siguro na negative to, so magiging negative 16 pa rin to. Pero medyo magulo na nga since lalo na kapag hindi in-indicate. So, mas maganda, gamit na lang ng 2's complement. 
Actually, ito yung parang pinaka-weak talaga ng computation ng computer. Mas mahaba nga lang. Okay. Any other clarification? Sir, paano po ulit yung sa 16? Pa, pa ulit po. Dito? So, i-represent po muna siya ng uh, positive representation. So, 16 is represented by 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Tama? Since this one is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So, ito yung first step natin. And then, apply 2's complement. So, 0 will become 1. 1 will become 0. So, 2's 4, 0 will become 1. And then, third step is plus 1, which is 1. So, 2, 1 is 10. 2, 1, 10 ulit. 2, 1 is 10. 2, 1 is 10 ulit. So, carry 1. So, 1 plus 0 is 1. And then, 1, 1, 1. So, bring down nyo lang yung tatlong. So, yung pinakasagot na dito is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Uh, nakikita mo ba, Miss Mika Idos, or magulo to? Okay na po, sir. Thank you. Okay, sige. Alright, so we have another example in here wherein we have to add this one, so plus 6, plus 13, so walang problema. So, convert nyo lang to into positive representation. So, uh, 4 plus 2 is 6. 8 plus 4 plus 1 is 13. So, just do the math. Yung tinuro, na, tinuro ko sa inyo kanina, uh, addition of binary. So, ito na yun, yung magiging result. So, dapat 19. So, 16 plus 2 plus 1 is 19, which is the same with this one. Okay. And then for negative 13, so uh, ito yung pinaka nakuha niyang sagot. So ang gawin nyo, uh, kunin nyo muna yung positive representation and then plus complement and then plus 1 and then do the math and then you will get this one. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. And then add nyo lang to and then you will get this one. Okay. Or another way of doing this one is, ang nakuha yung result dito is negative 7. Tama ba? So, kunin mo natin yung positive representation ng 7, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay? So, second step is apply to's complement. So, 0 will become 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay? And then add 1. Plus 1, ito na third step natin. So, 0 plus 1 is 1. So, bring down everything. So, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Which is the same with this one. Okay. So, you have two ways to identify the uh, sign binary uh, operation or sign binary configuration. So, pwede yung ito, gamit kayo ng so, mas mahaba pa ito eh. Mas madali nga ito. Diretso na kagod. Since gagamit din kayo rin ng uh, tools complement dito. So, you can do this one instead. Alright. So, kulang na lang kulang na yung oras natin. So, magkakaroon tayo ng part 5. Okay. So, last na yun mamaya. Abuti na lang siguro tayo ng 10 minutes mamaya. May mga meron pa tayong, ayun. So, yan pa, 16 slides. And, yeah, 16. 16 ba? Basta yan, kahigit 10 pa. Ay, hindi, 8 na lang pala. Yeah, 8. 8 slides. Anyway, so, sa mga may question, sumama na lang ang magtanong. 
So for now, tutuloy natin ito mamaya. For now, I uh, have a break. 5 to 7 minutes again. Okay. 